All right, ladies and gentlemen, and boys and girls, I'd like to welcome all of you here for our terrific kids ceremony. Uh, this is a very special time. It's one of my great joys because it is so positive. And I know parents, you're gonna feel this way, but this would not be happening without a very special group of people. If you look behind me, there is a banner, and that banner stays up on our wall. We're a terrific kids school, Kiwanis Club of Azalea City. And the, I want the Kiwanis Club, Mr. McKinley, you're more than welcome to sit up here if you'd like to. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mr. Barber, actually. Um, so this is a time where, even though we have lots of terrific kids at this school, we recognize the ones that are um, most noticeable to us. And we do this every nine weeks. Because a lot of you may not have been here before, I'm gonna ask Mr. Overturf, Mr. Charles Overturf, who really is the one that has been with this program from the very beginning, to just explain a little bit about how it came about and how long it's been in operation in Putnam County. Mr. Overturf, do you mind saying a couple of words? Thank you, Dr. Malosh. On behalf of my fellow members, Susan Lane, uh, Kingsley Plimpton, uh, Mike Perry, and Terry Strunk, and about 55 other members of Azalea City, we just want to take a moment, as she's done, to welcome parents and maybe even some grandparents here to honor these young people. As she said, we're so proud of every one of the students here at the charter school, all that they're accomplishing. In a moment or two, she'll be reading to you what their teachers and sometimes even what their fellow classmates have said about these students and about how they're working on their academics, they're trying to make the best grades that they can, but they're also working on their attitudes, their uh, character, uh, those things that we know are important for them to, to grow up, not only to be good students, but also to be good citizens here in our community. So we're certainly proud of each one of them. We say thank you to what you're doing, and just please keep up the good work. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Overturf. Um, we're going to start in just a moment, but I want you to know that your child, each one of your special terrific kids, will be receiving a folder that looks like this. And in this folder, you've got a number of things. One of the things that is going to be prominent on your car, I'm pretty sure, is my kid is a terrific kid, and it's a bumper sticker. If you happen to be a grandparent, we have grandparent stickers as well, so make sure uh, that you see Mr. Overturf before uh, you leave so that you can have a grandparent sticker, which I think is very cool. In addition, um, we have certificates from Muscle Whites. We have certificates from the Kiwanis, well, the Kiwanis Club, of course. We've got their certificate. Excuse me. Ah, Quiznos is added to that. Ooh, Quiznos. Uh, we've got Pax Karate. And on this side, there are certificates. Oh, that's the terrific kid from you guys, okay. We have uh, Beef O'Brady's. You folks are gonna be doing a lot of eating in this next month to come. We've got Burger King, and we have Golden Corral. And a very nice looking pencil. And just so you know, and I will be handing this out at the very end, we have changed how this um, ceremony is presented. It's going to be on YouTube, the Putnam County School District YouTube. Please do not leave without your directions of how to access it, okay? So most of you know how to use YouTube, but you may not have watched your children on YouTube through the Putnam County, and that's very different from the way we used to do it. So I have all of those flyers for you. Uh, please make sure you get one before you leave. All right, without further ado, by the way, just in case you didn't know, I'm Jerry Malosh. I'm the principal of this great school. Um, we are in our, I believe, 11th, 12th year of operation, and um, we are considered a school of choice. Uh, a lot of people try to get into this school. We don't have all that many slots, but we have um, openings all the time uh, that come up, and especially in kindergarten. So if you have friends and uh, other family members, or siblings that are interested in coming to our school, please let us know, we'll give you some more information. We're gonna start with kindergarten today, and I am gonna ask Braxton Arrington to please come forward. This is Braxton, and Braxton has a smile 
I don't think I've ever seen him without a smile. He's always got a wonderful smile. And Braxton, I am going to read what Miss Valdez had to say. So stand up a little bit so you, you can be on YouTube, okay? And uh, you'll take this with you so you'll have all of this that can be read to you over and over again. Um, this is what Miss Valdez has to say about you, Braxton. As a kindergarten teacher at the Children's Reading Center, I'm honored to nominate Braxton Arrington as the recipient of the Qantas Terrific Kid Award for the second quarter of the school year. Braxton is a great student and a great example to those around him. Braxton constantly and consistently follows directions and comes to school each day ready to learn. He is safe, responsible, and respectful on a regular basis. Braxton is a model student to the other children in the classroom. He always does his best work, and he attempts new challenges with a good attitude. His sense of humor is refreshing and extremely entertaining. He is also genuinely considerate and kind to everyone around him. Braxton is very even-tempered and patient. He does not get upset easily. He stays calm in any circumstance. He also shows great interest in learning new things and sharing new information. Braxton is a fair and helpful student. He works well in groups and does his best to assist others in need. He takes turns, shares with others, and uses good manners. He is achieving success in the school work because of his consistent determination and hard work. He is a self-motivator and tries his best at any task. I am inspired by Braxton's kind heart. He treats everyone around him with respect. As Braxton's teacher, I am very proud to say he brings happiness to our classroom and helps to put a smile on my face every single day. He truly is a terrific kid. Ladies and gentlemen, Braxton Arrington. All right, I have another kindergartner, Colton Annis. Please come forward. Colton Annis, all right. Colton Annis is in Miss Lee's class. He's also a kindergartner. And this is what Miss Lee had to say about Colton. Why I chose Colton Annis is a terrific kid for the third nine weeks. Colton Annis has maintained a positive attitude towards learning. Since the first day of school, he has shown great interest in all academic areas of the kindergarten curriculum. He cares a lot about the neatness and clarity of his work. When something seems challenging to his knowledge, he doesn't hesitate to politely raise his hands to gain understanding. During morning circle, Colton is eager to learn new knowledge and pertain pertaining to shared reading books, morning, poem, morning work, and poems. Although Colton enjoys answering questions, participating in letter word games, and learning songs, he also strives to do his best during center time and writing workshop by following the rules to conventions of print making sure his writing is meaningful, and writing stories that are readable to all. When it's time to get the wiggles out, he is quick to break out in the most interesting dance moves. Colton, I have not seen that about you. I'm going to have to find out. He is indeed a character. He encourages his classmates to enjoy school by reminding them to follow the rules. He adjusts well to classmates of different interests, cultures, and ethnic diversities. Most of all, Colton is, a very deser is very deserving to be honored as a terrific kid because he is an outstanding achiever. Sincerely, Rachel Lee, Kindergarten. Colton. <laughs> all right, we are moving on to first grade. And I would like Kennedy Colton to please come forward. Kennedy is, is um, the last in a long line of Carlton children that have gotten this award, I'm pretty sure. And uh, Kennedy is in, in kin well, you were in kindergarten, now you're in first grade. It's hard to believe that you are. And she has a teacher who wanted to say this in front of the camera for everyone to hear. Kennedy Carlton. Many kids are good. Some kids are great. Few kids are terrific. Kennedy is one of the few that are terrific. She always has a smile on her face, whether she is working, 
playing or helping another student. She follows directions and is never asked twice to do something. Not only is she well behaved, she excels in academics. Her work is always thorough and she goes over and beyond what is expected of her. There is not a better word that I could come up with to describe Kennedy than the word terrific. She is our terrific kid. We love you, Miss Offenbacher. Kennedy Carlton. I'd now like Adam Sonoy to please come forward. Adam's in Miss Stagg's first grade class. Adam is a quiet one, and it's taken me a little while to get to know him, but he really is a terrific kid. Adam, this is what Miss Staggs has to say about you. Adams is a caring and compassionate student who is constantly pushing to improve. Adam is always willing to make corrections to his work and is always searching for ways to make his writing better. I can always depend on Adam to be helpful and a good example to all the students around him. I am constantly using Adam as a role model for the other students in the classroom as he is always on task and working at an appropriate pace. Adam has really come out of his shell lately and is becoming a much more interactive and animated young man. For all of these reasons and so many more, I chose Adam as our terrific kid. He is the embodiment of the diligence it takes to be truly terrific. Love, Miss Daggs. Congratulations. <laughs> All right, moving on to second grade. We have two boys for this award. I'd like Miles Hoffman to please come forward. <laughs> Miles is in Miss Ziegler's class. Uh, we've always called her Miss Tiffany, but she just got married a few weeks ago, and so um, she signs this as Miss Tiffany, but she um, she refers to herself, as far as Miles goes, as Mrs. Ziegler. So we see both names here. This is what Mrs. Ziegler has to say about Miles Hoffman. It has been a pleasure to teach Miles for two years. He is always kind to others, listens, follows directions, and overall always does the right thing no matter the situation. He is trustworthy, dependable, honest, determined, and hardworking. These are five major characteristics I harp on in my classroom, and by far he meets these expectations. Miles also exceeds the one characteristic that I believe is most important in life and try to teach all of the students. Be honest and take responsibility for your actions. While Miles does not get in trouble often, he is always the first one to tell the truth and admit when he did wrong, even when no one sees it as wrong, including me. When I ask the class why Miles deserves to be a terrific kid, everyone answers he's a good sport. He's nice, he's caring, but on every slip, they also said he's helpful. Not only do his classmates find him helpful, but others around the school acknowledge it as well. I am often stopped in the hallway to be told that he is so thoughtful to others. Miles, and this is directly to you from Miss Tiffany, remember that the characteristics I've listed above are hard to keep as you get older. You will have lots of trials in life and I expect you to persevere through them as you do in the classroom and on the ball field. Stay the kind, fun-loving child that I've gotten the pleasure to be with in kindergarten and now second grade. Love those around you and love yourself for who you are. As your mother has said to you several times, I am your parent while at school. I think I can say this, is, this for both myself and your mom and your dad. We are all blessed to have you and are very proud of the young man you are becoming. Love, Miss Tiffany. All right, Trace, come on up. Trace Harris. Trace, I think you were up here before as a kindergartner, right? Yeah, Trace has been up here before. It happens. This is Trace Harris, and he's in Ms. Everett's second grade class. This is what Ms. Everett had to say. My students and I, she's very democratic in her class. My students and I chose Trace Harris as our terrific kid. 
Trace is a student who tries his best every day. He's a true joy to teach. Trace is confident and an independent thinker and not a follower. He also takes pride in assisting his teacher and helping out his fellow students. One of my personal favorite qualities about Trace is his problem solving abilities. If I, if, it's as if I can see the wheels turning in his mind when I put a math problem on the board. Trace's classmates had a few thoughts to share about him. Trace deserves this award because he never bullies and he is friendly to everyone. Trace values his work and he is always in control of his situations. My personal favorite statement was, Trace has been such a good BFF for, a long, for so long, I feel like I should be paying him. <laughs> I love it. One student commented that in order for anyone to be considered a terrific kid, they need to, to keep their head in the game and pay close attention. I think this definitely applies to Trace. When I asked Trace why he feels that he deserves this award, he replied, I get my work done on time and I don't go to detention. He also said, I am respectful, helpful, and funny. I get lots of 100s on my work. So, well, that is a terrific positive attitude to have. Trace, and you are one terrific kid. Love, Ms. Everett. All right, moving up to third grade. Lalani Dallas, would you please come forward? Lalani <laughs> Dallas is in Miss England's third grade class. Uh, Miss England and Miss Harwell both looped up with their kids, so they've had uh, all of their children for uh, two years. And uh, this is what Miss England has to say about Lalani. Lalani Dallas has found a special place in all of our hearts. She is a trooper and has really stepped up to the plate this nine weeks. Lalani has been named terrific kid by her peers because I personally also think, but I also think she's personally absolutely deserves this award. When I think of Lalani, I automatically think of a sweet child who is a friend to everyone. She never argues, is never in a bad mood, and always has a smile for us. It is a joy every day for me to see Lalani walk into our classroom. Here are a few things Lalani's classmates had to say about her. She helps people and is a good friend. She listens to directions the first time. She's kind, sweet, and always laughs. She loves everyone. She never gets in trouble. She is never a bully. She is one of the best friends anyone can have. Lalani has come a long way over the past couple of years. We all love her very much, and she truly deserves this award Congratulations, Lalani. Love, Mrs. England. Another terrific kid. Jalia, come on up. Jalia is in Ms. Harwell's class. She's also a third grader. And this is what Ms. Harwell has to say about you, Jalia. Jalea, <coughs> excuse me, is a pleasure to have in class. She is kind, respectful, self-motivated, and hardworking. Her quiet demeanor is refreshing to have around. Every day she walks in with a smile on her face, ready to take on new challenges. Her work is always thorough, and she goes the extra mile without ever having been asked. If she does happen to make a mistake, Jalea will learn from it and use it as a guide to further herself as a person and as a student. I know that I can depend on her to do the right thing. She is an example for all other students to follow as she does not go with the flow. Her character is such that she will choose what is right over what is popular. And I love that attribute about her. Jalee is such an easy student to teach. She follows directions immediately and thoroughly. If a student needs help, she will offer up assistance and is very patient when doing so. I love, love, love having Jalee in my class. As a student, she is responsible, smart, and motivated. As a person, she is caring, attentive, and respectful. All of these characteristics are why I chose her to be our terrific kid. Love, Miss Harwell.
right, moving up to fourth grade. It looks like the girls have it this time. Can I ask Cammie Moy to please come up? Tall, sweetie. I don't know how that happens. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Cammie Moy. And Cammie is in, which fourth grade class are you Smith. in? You're in Smith, Miss Smith's class this year, right? So this is written by Miss Smith about Cammie. Cammie Moy is our terrific kid this nine weeks. Cammie sets a great example for the rest of the students in our class. She comes to school prepared and always has homework complete. She will often hand in a homework assignment early if they have a couple of extra days to complete it. Cammie works hard on every task that she is given and always tries her best. When she is presented new information, she makes sure to try to use it as her next assignment. She stays focused on her work and is not easily distracted. Cammie is a great friend to her classmates. She will help other students out if they do not understand a topic. Cammie also gets along with every student in our class. I know when I choose groups, I can sit here with anyone, and she will work great with them. Cammie is a great helper in the classroom as well. Any job that she has for the week, I know will be completed without any prompting from me. She will help without complaining and will often volunteer. Cammie is a wonderful student to have in class and is an all-around terrific kid. Nice job, Cammie. Keep trying your hardest and keep up the good work from Ms. Smith. Congratulations. All right, we have a big sunflower for Lacey Wilson. Lacey, come on down. This is Lacey. And Lacey is in Miss Andrews' class, and this is what Miss Andrews has to say about Lacey. Lacey Wilson is a terrific kid for many reasons. She is a natural leader and honest in every situation. She is respectful and thoughtful to classmates and teachers. Lacey is a straight A student that continually strives to, to, uh, to always do her best. She is an asset to our class, and we are very lucky to have her. She is a great example of a terrific kid. Love, Miss Andrews, fourth grade. All right. You know we're a very small school, and we are down to our last two students. Last, but definitely not least. And again, the girls have it. McKinley, will you please come forward, please? This is McKinley Barber. And McKinley Barber is in Miss Downey's class in fifth grade, and we will soon lose her. The only consolation we have is we still have our little brother, Mason, and he's just started with us. But this is what Miss Downey has to say about McKinley Barber. McKinley is one of those students that teachers look forward to having. As a teacher, you hear talk from colleagues about the really special students, and it is exciting to get to know them yourself. McKinley is certainly a special student. At any given time throughout the day, I know I can look at McKinley and see her doing exactly what's been asked of her. There's never a time when she is not fully engaged in discussions, and her input adds incredible thought and value to whatever the topic we are discussing or may be thinking about. Not only does she go out of her way to help me out around the room, she's very helpful to other students. If a group member has a question, they know they can turn to McKinley for help. Her kind heart and generous spirit, spirit are contagious to those around her. Maybe the best quality about McKinley is her sense of humor. It is so important in life to be able to laugh at yourself and your mistakes, and that is an attribute she has learned very early on. Although McKinley is a serious student, we know that we can count on her for a good laugh as well. Congratulations, McKinley, you are one terrific kid. Love, Miss Downey. All right, Tanaya, come on forward. Did you 
you start with us in kindergarten? Oh my gosh. All right. Tania started with us in kindergarten, and it's quite impossible to believe that she will be leaving us this year. But Tania is a great kid, and this is, she is in Miss Winters' class, and this is what Miss Winters had to say about her. Every morning, as I walk into my class, I am greeted by our safety patrols, preparing for the day. Charged with keeping peace and order in our school, the safety patrols face the daunting task of managing wiggling, boisterous students waiting to enter their classrooms. As one of those safety patrols, Tania Kemp always arrives ready for this morning duty with a smile, smartly dressed in uniform, and ready to shepherd the lower grades with her kindness. I think Tania is a terrific kid for many reasons. In addition to being an excellent safety patrol and having a winning smile, she is a hard-working student. Tania can always be counted on to complete her homework. She takes pride in completing assignments in class and works hard with others to accomplish the challenging assignments. I am proud of all of her accomplishments this year, and I look forward to seeing Tania becoming an accomplished young lady. She is one terrific kid. Tania Kemp, ladies and gentlemen. So ladies and gentlemen, we celebrate your children, but what we know is that these children did not grow up in a vacuum. It doesn't happen that way. They grew up under your guidance. And we have them for six hours a day, but you have them for 24 hours and for many, many years. And so when we celebrate your children, we celebrate you as parents. And we thank you for everything you're doing for your children. Please keep on doing it. These are the young women and men that will be leaders in our community and in our whole nation. And we look forward to seeing them on TV. And I don't want them ever to forget who their principal was. Okay, that was a question. All right. So I want to thank once again our Kiwanians for being here. It's always a joy to be able to have them participate. I don't want you to forget your bumper stickers if you're a grandparent. And don't forget directions that will allow you to be able to see your kids on YouTube. I also want to thank our school district, Tony Coffin, for being here to film all of this um, greatness and celebratory fun. And I wish you all a great day. Thank you very much. The changes catch your eye And you come to realize One can make a difference Reach out Stand out, find out what it's all about See it all, stand tall Be there to catch them when they fall Since 1915, Kiwanis International has touched millions of lives through thousands of service programs for children around the world. When you help one child, you help the world. Life is bigger than just one But one 